Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mutant Year Zero, Seed of Evil, with me, Frank Adon. So, let's mind control the pod destroyer as our opening move. If it works. And it did. What's up guys? Uh, let's eat grenade. All three of us, and it should destroy the cover there, opening them all up to attacks from, uh... From my companions. Uh, he's a little far away. They shouldn't focus him anyway. It's only 50% chance of hitting. And that might be enough. I oh, will see. Uh, let's go for the tank, I think. Yeah, missed. That's fine. Let's get him up here. No line of fire on any of those guys. That's disappointing. Right here he has a shot, but he can't shoot this turn. That's okay, they should focus the destroyer. Which is fine, he already did what he needed to do. Alright. Didn't know that was going to happen. Changes up my tactics a little bit. So he needs to go. Hopefully he can take him out here. Perfect. For the over. For the over. Um, he's going to have to just lay him out real quick. And we need to take out that pod destroyer. Or sorry, the uh, pod spawner. To the bone, baby. Yes. Things are not going super well for us. Uh, I think we can handle it though. I'm not super excited about that miss. Um, hopefully you can take him out. Cool. So really it's only a tank we need to worry about here. Is he destroyed the destroyer? Regardless, he needs to take out the spawner. Just so it doesn't come back. Or he doesn't spawn anything else. And he will... Go for the hit on this guy. Man, our shots are not doing, not uh, not hitting often. That's okay. Wait. 
we still managed to come out on top, mostly. Can I exit combat? Well, let me exit combat. Alright, so we have to take out the, uh, the heart. I know what's going to happen when I attack it, so I want to play it a little careful. Reload everything, make sure we're in uh, good shape to start attacking it. What are you doing? You imbeciles! You can't kill me! I am the zone! So is that going to aggro everything in the map? He alerted all enemies. Well, that sucks I couldn't exit combat here. Well, let's go and burn this thing down. Sooner the better, I suppose. It's gonna get the 100% chance to hit. Stop it! I alone can cleanse the zone. Don't you want to be happy? I'm assuming they're going to come to me, right? So I don't really need to do anything here. Watch. I'll take the 50% chance to hit. What is Overwatch and wait? If they're going to come to me, I mean, what does it matter? Really taking their time getting here. That's not sporting. Man, I'm sure it's like a fifty percent chance to hit, but still. I should have just gone for the kill on the jumper. He's dead next turn anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter because he's not shooting.
Yeah, start going for this guy. Kill the rooter. Uh, he'll probably get some damage off on us. We'll be okay though. Because the jumper will die this turn. This is the tank of the destroyer. One damage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Another one. Oh. <laughs> That was cute. All right. Guess we're still not done. We still have to take out that pod before it lets us with that heart. Yeah. That's a little annoying. Can we not hide? Yeah, we'll let us exit combat. Well, that's super lame. I don't know why he took that path, but okay. I just wait for everybody to group up because I don't, I don't know what to expect once we uh, take out this last heart. So just playing it safe. Nothing crazy is happening, so.
I got an achievement. Jico's mighty branches splinter and crash. The ground underneath us rumbles and splits wide open. We back off and watch old Jico collapse into a gaping sinkhole. Through the dust, we peer down. Jico's dead roots stretch through steel hallways. A lab covered in Mimer logos. A familiar sight. Another Eden. We climb down and search the lab. Through the wreckage, a single monitor flickers with life. We huddle around the screen. The words, Mutant Project, blink on and off in big red letters. Then his young face, looking back at us. Ingmar Edison, our elder. He's recording some journal. Describing how his scientists created a mutant tree that could clean toxins in the air. A last-ditch effort to reverse the ancient's poisonous pollution. What the Elder didn't realize was when his scientists ditched their lab, Jaiko remained. Evolving, stretching her roots through the zone. Her mission still intact. She identified toxins as mutants and ghouls, so she replaced us with cleaner versions, wiped of everything that made us human. Jaiko was a mutant created by the Elder, just like us. I shoved my fist through the monitor. We don't need the Elder anymore. We have each other. The red vines wither. The pods rot away. We return to the Ark, and the Dwellers cheer our arrival. We get the hero treatment Ducks always wanted. And for the first time in my life, I feel like a hero. Missing his bar, Prip appoints a new Elder. Me. I guess I have to start taking responsibility for my life. Happy endings die with the ancients, but new beginnings live on with us. The dwellers of the Ark. Whatever the zone throws at us, we'll be ready. We're keeping humanity alive for a reason. Sometimes I look to the night sky and wonder if Ingmar Edison is looking down at us. So I wonder if they do another expansion, if it'll take place in space, if you'll be chasing the Elder. I feel like there's still some holes that I want answered. Um, I feel like there's a little, a few story elements that kind of get either glazed over and not expanded on, which is fine, I and mean, the game is a blast. Um, I do recommend this DLC. I, I think it's like $8. I'm still gonna replay through it in my Iron Mutant playthrough, so it, I'm gonna get my my uh, value out of it. But yeah, as always, I mean, Mutant Year Zero is just a fantastic game, really fun. Um, slightly different take on other tactical RPGs. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't have a lot else to say. If you're interested to hear what I have, my thoughts on the uh, game as a whole, you can check out my other playthrough of the game, the base story. Really enjoyed it. Sadly, I didn't really use the new companion, Khan. He didn't fit into my playstyle. Uh, I wouldn't probably use him at all in Iron Mutant, just because he, his skills don't uh, complement the stealth approach, which is typically the better approach. If you go in loud all the time, you're not going to make it very far, especially in Iron Mutant. So the game's just not designed that way. Uh, you're supposed to be outnumbered and outgunned, so you have to even the odds before you go loud. And Khan also starts underleveled compared to your other companions, which uh, he's he's more of a liability than an asset. And I feel like they should adjust his level, or at least the cost of his mutations, um, when you start the DLC from your from your campaign. I'm assuming that if you start the DLC just from the main menu, uh, everyone will be about the same level. 
But yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me in yet another adventure. Hope to see you guys in the next Let's Play.